We asked for questions and you guys delivered. So stick around. I love this question. Don Judd wants to know, the pressure of the questions water? is getting to him. How many horses do you have? This is our big announcement. We are here to answer all of your biggest questions. You guys sent in questions for our question and answer video and boy did you deliver. So we are gonna run through these, answer all of your questions. If there's anything I'm missing, go ahead and drop it in the comments below and we'll answer them in the next video. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, that is the biggest way that you can help us is by subscribing if you're finding value in our videos, liking any video, hit the bell and then select all. It will let you know whenever we are uploading a video so you don't miss any of them. Let's get into our questions. Abby and Teddy and Emery Equestrian asked, how old is everyone? So horses and people. Scott and I are in our mid forties on the upper side of that. Julia? I'm 12. I'm 16. Horses, so Duke is? 13. And then we've got Jack? 18. 18. Foxy is 24. Stevie is? Nine. Or 10. Yeah, nine or 10. Somewhere in there. Luna just turned one at the end of April. And three. Kyla just turned three. All right, Songbirds wants to know, what is our favorite family activity? Well, for family night. So family night, what we used to, we've kind of gotten away from it, but we used to play uh, board games a lot and Splendor was our very favorite one. The girls also like Horsopoly. Yeah, and it's like Monopoly, but a horse version. <laughs> Instead and of like properties, it's like horse parades. Yeah, it was. it's a pretty fun game. Yeah. Oh, what's the one you guys used to love and we hated it? Um, horse Club. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would probably go find that game right now. I know what it is. I, I might have sold it or I know. No way. <laughs> I know what it is. Some of the pieces are missing. Some of them have been chewed by dogs. Oh, and that other game. <laughs> it's like a painful game and that for adults, game. but the kids always love it. And it's the other fun. game where it's like the chips and like the cards. Yeah, that's Splendor. Yeah, that's oh, that's that. Julia's favorite game. Yeah. yeah, We all really like that one, actually. Like and then, I guess just for family activities, we generally like touring around, things with the animals outside. Yeah. Watching the girls ride, or what else do we do? Movie nights. Usually the girls and I will watch it. Scott doesn't generally, <laughs> if, if, if he, he comes, then he's not, usually he's on his phone. Yeah. <laughs> but he sits there and hangs out with us. At I don't know, just fun things like we did earlier today, like going to the fair, we love going to antique places. COVID really stopped a lot of that for us, but we usually spend a lot of time together anyway just because we're on the farm. So we're usually outside with the animals. Scott and I all sit outside, Julia's biking, and Kate sits with us or she's kind of playing with the horses, so. I'll just find random things to do. Yeah, I mean, naturally we just tend to spend a lot of time together as a family just doing nothing necessarily special, but just like fun stuff, joking around, whatever. All right, Annie and Stella wants to know, what is your dream horse show to go to? Kate? I don't even know, like the Royal. Yeah, I was gonna say the Royal Winter Fair. That's a fair that's in Toronto. Yeah. And I think people come from like all of North America. Oh, it's a it's a pretty big thing. We have always gone there as a family every single year because we have a lot of family that show the cattle there. And Scott grew up on a dairy farm, so he has actually spent a good portion of his life growing up at the Royal Winter Fair. He has a big family history there. So that was actually our very first date was the Royal Winter Fair. So we've always gone together there. So I think that would be a pretty cool yeah. show for you guys to yeah. Yeah, show at. We're not necessarily working no. towards that. That's more just like a dream. We That's love going that. and watching it there. Pam Blackwell wants to know what grades are the girls in? Yeah, you're in grade seven. I'm in grade 11. 
grade 11. She also wants to know what school do they attend and is college the same for us as it is for where they are, it's years seven to 13 is college. So Julia is in elementary school, Kate is in high school. Where we are, elementary school till grade eight and then the kids grade nine to 12 is high school. After that, you go to either college or university and they're two very different things. So college would be for a diploma and university would be for a degree, but both are considered post-secondary school. Carol Mack and Pam Belford asked, do the girls attend school or are they homeschooled? The girls were in school up until COVID. We went into lockdown March, March 20, yeah, 2020. March 12th, I know because it was March break. Yeah, all schools in Ontario anyway, all schools were online. in lockdown the and online, yeah, online the rest of that year. And then the next two years, it was, optional you got to pick which to do so julia is high risk for covid and so am i for safety and health reasons we decided that following year we would do online it ran like a regular school so it was done at home but we weren't responsible for doing their teaching they had a teacher through the school board they would go on like a zoom meet and yeah, with a regular class of yeah. kids. And they were actually run really well. And that year, Julia got so much more dedicated teaching time and help. Academically, it ended up being far better than when they were in school. The following year, COVID was still an issue here it for us. Still... The girls decided that they wanted to do online again. I used to be a teacher, and so that was something else that helped out too because it was a little easier. I was able to support them at home as well. This year, Kate is going into grade 11, and we wanted her to make sure that socially she has that. Yeah, I want. I was starting to miss my friends, and I'm like, I figured I should go to high school at least a yeah. few years out of four. So we really wanted them so. to have that experience socially. So this year they are back in regular schools and Julia is going to um, a different school than Kate. Pam Blackwell wants to know what are the girls best friends into? Cars and sports. Hockey. You have some friends that are into horses. Yeah, I have some friends that are into horses. They're kind of, they have all very different interests. Your friends, what are they into? Mainly boys. Yeah. We're all into reading. <laughs> Mainly. Mainly boys, Julia. And Julia's yeah. not into boys right now, so. All of my friends right? are into reading. She's read. still at that stage where she's like, oh, boys. <laughs> but a lot of Julia's friends are into makeup, boys. Julia's not really into that right now, but they, they still have a fun like playing together. Yeah. And like arts and crafts and yeah. stuff. They have different things that they connect on. Vanessa Rogers, Gudrun Van Hoosier, and Jean Landry want to know when are Scott and I going to start our riding journey? <laughs> <laughs> and will we be taking lessons and will we share it with you guys? So for me, I would say in two years. I'm <laughs> I'm working on it. I say she won't take lessons for another year. Um, yeah, I feel like, and before that, it'll be. I'm working the continued pony rides, just for longer and less assisted. <laughs> I'm slightly. working on building up my courage to, to, to first, get on a horse. First step is getting on without her telling me to go on the other side to catch her. Yeah, I feel like this fall, now that we've done trail rides for the first time, I feel like I will have you or someone hold one of the horses on a lead line still because I'm not worked up to just doing it on my own but I feel like I would go on a trail on ride walking I wouldn't with go a on, lot of safety I wouldn't go on track <laughs> I just see you like riding with like 10 safety vests 10 helmets on yeah straps three in. packs of bubble wrap and you go on Jack. I go um, on Jack. Occasionally, just for like a loop around. Like, He's a lot I braver do, than I me. Do, I do Jack's cool down. Well, like if I want to ride Jack yeah. and Stevie, then I'll like hop on Jack, quickly run him around, and then hop off, get Stevie ready. And then while I'm getting Stevie ready and riding, Stevie, yeah, Daddy then gets on. He'll yeah. get on and ride him around. I guess I haven't but, filmed but, that yet, so I will. He has, I will he has to show trotted that. on Jack 
It was completely by accident, but yeah, he that was not on purpose. I started trotting with Duke, and then Jack thought <laughs> he was following his friend, and so started trotting. But I figure happened. by next year, hoping to like work up to okay. riding we'll see at least lesson. like a little lesson. I'm getting slowly okay. better. It's a work in okay. we're a work in progress. <laughs> Jamie Jamie wants to know what do you like most about living on a farm? Well, I mean, I like being able to have the horses right outside. Yeah. Having our own animals, I would say. And this, and just the space and the quiet. When we were living in the city and in subdivision and all the houses are right there. We actually, we loved it at the time, but now that we're in the country and when we go back to the city and it's we're driving, weird. now we're like, wow, like everything is very, there's it's buildings gracious. everywhere. And yeah, we really enjoy being out in the country now. Yeah, and I lived on a farm my whole life, so. Yeah, so you like For being... For me, it's just nice. It's like being back Yeah, and home. it teaches the kids responsibility. I think that's the biggest thing. Yeah. You can't just like sleep in or take off or do stuff. Kate negotiates <laughs> okay, on weekends let's, let's, to sleep in. Let's just... So sleep. she's allowed to sleep in till, till 8.30, 9 o'clock one day. Yeah. I'm allowed I'll to sleep in till 8.30 on Sundays and 9 o'clock on Saturdays. Yeah. yeah. Because then every day through, through the week, yeah. I have to be but outside at 6 by the latest. 8.30 is like their sleep in time. They're really good. Like, they're very good about going out and doing the chores. Scott grew up on a dairy farm, and so that is part of his lifestyle. And it's nice to see the girls do that. I feel like it's living in the country has been good for our family. Yeah. Like we spend a lot more time together now, a lot more time outside. If I'm gonna be honest, I don't even really remember living at our old house. I know, it seems like a lifetime it, it ago. Kind of, and it's, it's two and a half years, but it seems yeah, like a lifetime it's ago. Kinda of like out of my memory. I can Don <laughs> I love this question. Don Judd wants to know, why does Kate hate the birds, our, our chickens and our guineas? I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know either. They're not gonna hurt the you. The thing is, is like when we first got them, I they weren't that bad, but then like. You used to like them when they were little baby chicks. Yeah. You could hold them, you loved them. Well, when we first got them, I was fine with like hey hey and stuff. Like, in the, like I didn't want to go right in and like be holding them or anything, but I was fine to be like, within a few feet of them. But like now I don't even want to hold the chicks anymore. <laughs> no, now it's like a phobia of hers, the chicken. It's she gotten... screams if they like come like, yeah. what, cause they, Julia walks out and then they all come running to her and they're following her all around. And Kate is like, stay away from me, Julia. Yeah, it's <laughs> she developed. doesn't want the chickens it's near her. It's developed a lot. It's like really bad now. <laughs> and it's not even all birds because like our cousin has like a- Yeah, like a cockatiel or something. Yeah. And like, and it like flies it around. Sitting, that didn't bother her. It was her. sitting on me, and I was like petting it. But like, that's fine. But like the chickens, no. I feel like part of it is just it became like a thing between you and Julia. Like, oh, no, I don't like the birds. Because gets you out of chicken shorts. Too. You know it does. <laughs> yeah, I mean it does. All right, CC Lois wants to know what are your jobs? I work in finance. Before that, I had dairy farm. Yeah, dairy a farm. farm. So I actually went to school for gerontology, which is working with. Uh, senior citizens for programming. When I got out of university, I was doing uh, casework, so working with low-income families. We got married, so I had to move provinces, and I went back to school to be a teacher at that point. I've taught from kindergarten all the way up to grade 10, and special education I did. We moved back to Ontario. It was impossible to find a teaching spot at the time. So I went back to my old job as a caseworker. The last couple of years I've been at home with the girls and now I'm doing YouTube. Fluffy Bunny wants to know where do we live? So we live in Ontario, Canada. Always Leah. She sent in a bunch of questions which we love. What do the girls want to do when they grow up? <laughs> Question of the hour. I don't even know. <laughs> but I really don't she, know. <laughs> she did want to be I wanted a to be vet. a vet, but then I realized that there's like a lot of math and science in that, and I don't really like math and science. Um, she hit grade 10 math and started changing her mind on being a vet. <laughs> so. And I wanted to be an equine vet specifically. There's yeah. like a lot of stuff in that I would not want to do. Like having to put courses down. So she is still trying to figure it out. Do you know? She's in grade seven and has no clue. Yeah. 
lots of years to figure it out. I feel like you you enjoy doing a lot of creative things, art, stuff like that. So I feel like you'll do something. I feel like you'll figure it out pretty easily yeah. when you get to high school when and you have get a, a lot more older. like area like electives and stuff to like yeah try things out. I could see Kate doing something in business. She loved her business classes. I did the marketing business, yeah. all of that kind of stuff. You're really good with kids. I could also see it down the road that might be something that you would do. But I, I feel like maybe more business for you. Yeah. Who knows? She's got to figure it out soon though because she's got to apply to post-secondary schools. Always Leah also wants to know what are your favorite horse shows on TV? Heartland. Heartland is... In, until season 14. That's well don't say I'm in not, case I'm people saying, watch it. I'm I don't not, know where they're, they are in seasons. I'm not. That's why I said the season. <laughs> Depending on where you live in the That's world. That's why I said the season number, not what happens. Yellowstone. Yeah. <laughs> Scott likes Yellowstone. <laughs> I can't get into it, but. Um, I like Heartland. Heartland was hugely influential, I would say, in your horse obsession. Amber Marshall was their idol. We stood in line. For like half the day. We, we is a strong word. We, I stood in line. We went there at like in the morning and or I something to get the bracelets. The horses. Yeah, horses. every year at the Royal, we would try and go see Amber Marshall. We didn't realize the one year you have to like stand in line and get bracelets first. So the next year we planned and that was such a highlight. And she was so nice in real life. She, there were so many people there. She took the time. She wasn't just rushing through. She was so great with you guys. Was like asking you questions. And one of the nicest celebrities, like I would say that, yeah. I don't know, she was just amazing. The girls have like watched Heartland and you like picked up a lot of pointers from it too. And then like would go on and like research more about that. I feel like we learned a lot from it. I love Heartland because it's filmed in Canada for any of you that don't know about it. And it follows a family who live on a ranch. It has a lot of information about horses and different types of horse riding. We love that show. Scott's opening a window because he's getting too hot. The pressure of the questions is getting to him. Okay. Water. <laughs> Always Leah also wants to know what are the girls favorite foods? Oh, that's a hard one. Kate says ice cream. Your spaghetti. What are you? Yeah, spaghetti. Julia is plain spaghetti with pesto and butter. <laughs> Heaven forbid it has tomato sauce on it. <laughs> no. Those uh, pizzas. What pizzas? The Oh, the Hello pizzas. Fresh pizzas. Yeah. If you guys saw where we oh, were like yeah. cooking with the Hello Fresh stuff, yeah, like one of the pizza. recipes I don't know if that one was on there. Is that the one we filmed? I don't remember. I feel like we filmed one of the other recipes we I don't got. think you did film that one. But in that same batch that week of the recipes that we got, one of them was pizza on like a flatbread with barbecue sauce, chicken, cheese, and then like we usually Scott and I will put other things on it too, but the girls love that. And so we so, do so continue good. to the only one we can do. Yeah, the ingredients and like we'll go, we'll make that too. Do you like hunters or jumpers? She wants to know. Okay, I like watching jumpers. Yeah, I love watching jumpers. Love but... watching jumpers. But what one I like doing yeah. is hunters. hunters. I could never do the speed or the turns. No. Like jumpers. Wait, what? Oh, hunters again. Hunters, what we do. Hunters is what yeah. you do, and jumpers is the one where you're going as fast as you can. At like the, the silver, time At the silver series, the uh, bottom ring. The one that you would go to. Mm. Yeah. So what yeah. are you, hunters or jumpers? I like the one that we do. Yeah, hunters. Yeah. She also wants to know, do you like the barn where you are? I'm assuming she's not talking about our house and where we do lessons, and we love that barn. We love all the people there. Everyone is so nice. There's no drama or anything. All the people, even like on the different lessons from us, everyone's so nice. The parents are all so nice. Yeah. Brandon is great. We love Brandon. He is, he's so funny. Yeah. Like we're like, every, he's always joking around. Joking. And Sometimes he isn't joking. Sometimes he's making you work. And Julia's <laughs> like, I'm tired. But he's good because he pushes you and he yeah. challenges you. And he's good about like talking to you throughout yeah. it. We don't necessarily always get that on film because 
a lot of the times we're standing further away and I can't pick up his voice very well and it's that I'm zoomed in, but I try and get in there what I can. But he actually is really good about talking to the girls, explaining things about what he's doing or if you guys make mistakes, kind of going over stuff. So he's really good for that. Do you plan on moving, she wants to know. <laughs> no. It was a lot of work and I didn't even do anything. <laughs> yeah, it was me. I'm the one that packed up the house. And like, imagine like with the horses. No, moving is too hard. Our place is a uh, work in progress. Like there's definitely things here that we want to fix and add to or change. But for the most part, we really love this place. We spent three, four years three looking. Years. Three years looking. We made sure that we were getting a place that we were thinking long term when the kids are gone and they're gone to college how it's going to be for us retiring in this place and we really thought all of that through so definitely not moving cc lois wants to know what happens to the horses when the girls go to college i mean if i had enough money duke would come with me kate is planning on bringing duke by the time we pay for a good money. job yeah long answer short for the horses foxy is getting older and is really struggling with arthritis so she may not be with us at that point jack is slowing down in what he's doing we'll still have julia here so she'll be able to ride It'll just mainly be trail rides luna is still not going to be ridden because we won't start riding her until she's about five stevie same thing she'll be here but at that point scott and i will be a little further in our riding journey so the hope is that we can then do some trail riding we have people here that will also be exercising them and the horses will entice the kids to come and visit us blackmail me back <laughs> they might not want to come and visit mom and dad but they'll come back for those horses <laughs> and tulip and the goats yeah plushies pooches and guinea pigs wants to know would you ever like to visit australia i would love to visit australia <laughs> that is one place i've always wanted to go i spent three months in australia and six months in new zealand so both those countries are absolutely gorgeous and we'd love to go back yeah and we actually have friends that live in new zealand so someday that's the dream we will definitely get down there and see our friends and i would love to see that area Roz mcgowan wants to also know <laughs> do we have a set schedule for posting <laughs> no <laughs> no I she'd so like to think she does. I really I'm going to try <laughs> this is my goal as we're approaching December and there's gonna be vlogmas now that everything is settling down with my dad a bit my and the kids are at school my goal is over the next couple of weeks to start getting myself organized for editing and posting the videos it takes me a really long time right now to edit the videos because when I'm a bit of a perfectionist and to I'm just honestly I'm just learning <laughs> so I I am not usually very good at technology and stuff so it is a bit of a learning curve for me the other thing i also want to get working on is we now qualify to do merchandise and memberships and certain things like that so julia and i are, are the little creative ones we're going to try and come up with some things so short answer no i don't have a set schedule for posting but yes i'm going to try and work towards that right now what i'm going to try and do though moving forward is get a video up every couple of days so definitely keep an eye out for that all right cc lois wants to know what inspired our channel when we first moved the girls loved watching animal channels on youtube part of it was they loved watching day by day vlogs and other similar channels and they when we were going to move to the country they really wanted to do that my brother has a youtube channel one of my in-laws has a youtube channel and then sheepishly me who is a good friend of a family member they have a big youtube channel that kate loves watching and so we have kind of a bunch of different inspiration coming i said i hate being in front of a camera and i <laughs> was like that's fine but i'm not going to be in it and then the girls so badly wanted to do it and then they were like when, no we don't was, know what to say when you, she was you do it. In, we were out <laughs> <laughs> so then they wanted me to do it for them so <laughs> so now i have to kind of take over but julia you really love kind of helping out with it and, and showing the animals and everything kate is definitely more shy 
and Scott for some reason is on here too. So lots of different things inspired us, but basically with COVID, we moved right when that happened. And we had a lot of friends and family that weren't able to share in this horse journey with us and moving to, moving to the farm. And so we started originally taking videos to post just for our friends and family on Facebook and whatever, but we started talking and the girls really wanted to do a YouTube channel. And so we thought, why not share it with everyone? We never really expected anyone to want to watch it, but you guys have been awesome. So, and now it's really fun. It's like a fun activity to do together. And then someone asked and I forgot who did it, but um, someone wanted to know why we decided to name our channel Barn Boots and Country Roots when we have city roots. The barn boots um, was a bit of a joke because Kate always <laughs> wore her yellow hunter boots. That's how that started because even in her grade eight graduation, in fairness, it was COVID. So it was just at home I and they no did it. I had running shoes. I was like about to You don't do wear running shoes with a dress either. I know, but like- But there I she was in her yellow hunter boots and her barn boots and her bra dress. Disgusting. <laughs> and the country roots are all my family is farms on both sides of my mom and dad. Scott grew up on a farm. Generational farmers on, both, on sides. both sides. And really even my family actually, they all had farms. Like not my parents, but my grandparents and back had farms. So we're getting back to our country roots and established the three of us or the city girls, so we wanted to establish country roots. So that's what I became up with, barn boots and country roots. All right, Suzette Osgood wants to know what? You skipped. Oh, whoops. Plushies, Pooches, and Guinea Pigs wants to know, have we learned to hand milk our goats yet? No. No. I've got money on it that it'll never happen. It's not going to happen. Because uh, I'm not doing it. Everyone laughs at me about okay, milking the goats. The we didn't start milking the goats right now because Lily and Ollie are sold. We sold them to new homes. Ollie went- A while ago. Yeah. I don't remember if that was in a video or not. I feel like I might've forgotten to post that actually. Yeah. <laughs> Ollie went a while ago. He went to a lovely family, not far from us actually. We didn't have another goat to put him with because he was a buck and could get our other goats pregnant. And, and Grace just had her too, and Charlotte was supposed to have her too. We didn't have enough like room to have them all separated no. properly, considering he was trying to like mat everyone. So yeah, and so we them. decided they would be able to give him a better home than we were able to do just given the structure of our herd at the time. So he went there and he is loving life. They've sent us updates. About a month ago, we sold Lily. She really started picking on Grace and pushing her off of food, pinning her into walls. And because Grace is part fainting goat, she would stiffen up or and she couldn't get away. and then stiffen up. So then she'd be like Those against a wall. Really yeah. They never really accepted her. And so we always felt bad that Lily didn't have any friends. And then she started really picking on Grace. So we went and saw the home and it is also like a fantastic yeah, home for her. So they are there. Grace and Charlotte were still nursing the babies. So I just wasn't set up for it. And I want to learn a lot more about it. Everyone laughs at me, but I absolutely plan on learning how to milk a goat by like next spring is when what they'll is be ready. To learn? I just want to be prepared. Know what I'm doing properly. All right, Suzette Osgood wants to know what is Kate doing with Duke? I don't what know. are you? I, I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean by like? Oh, well, I'm assuming she means like, what are your goals with him? Like, what are you hoping to like? Get him to go through a show without panicking at all. <laughs> not a moment of panic. <laughs> Has not reached that step yet. The plan is that she wants to work up to them being a good team to go to shows, right? The yeah. Silver Series is kind of what you're yeah. aiming for. Yeah, that's gonna maybe take a little bit more work. <laughs> He's getting better though. He is. Just to continue working, I guess, yeah. on your partnership and how you guys are riding and getting over jumps and then working up to Silver Series, which is the rated shows. James Blue Lightning and Amy Rabe want to know, how many horses do you have? So... This is our big announcement that we were yeah. mentioning the other day. We now have five horses. So we have Duke, 
Jack, Foxy, Foxy, Stevie, yeah. and Luna. So we actually sold Kyla. The reason that we did that was Kate has been working with her and training her as much as we know how to do. We still have a lot more to learn and that's okay. And we have surrounded ourselves with knowledgeable people. We took her as far as we could. Yeah. I mean, we could have done more, but yeah, that we I could, could have do done more confidently. confidently and properly. It was a really hard decision I and I didn't actually film it because it was it was pretty emotional for us. Like I was like crying on the way there and on the way back. We just needed that as like a, a family moment and not to necessarily share it with the world. So we actually found a great place for her. They're actually a friend of a friend. She has met Kyla's mom and dad. She um, rode Foxy. She's ridden Foxy before. She is a coach. She works with another trainer. And so, yes, we could have sent Kyla out to go get professionally trained for a couple of months, but we really felt that we wouldn't necessarily have the skills to maintain, to bring her as far as she could go. Because we she see really so much potential in Kyla. And hard as it was for us to let her go, because we've had her since she was a baby, we knew it was the right thing for her and we didn't want to hold her back. We wouldn't have we done her, her justice if no. we kept her. And so she's with a wonderful home and the best part Let about it is she's horses. really close to us. Like we can actually go and see her. We can go and help out on the farm. That was such a perfect scenario for us. So Kyla is not with us anymore. Like I still have a hard time going out there and not seeing Kyla. I feel like I was most attached to her. We're just gonna answer a few more questions because then Julia needs to get ready to go to bed, do school, and then we'll do another part where we finish these. Emily Lipsitz and Schleich XOXO and Roz McGowan all want to know, will you get any more horses? No. no. I wish, like I love fjords. I would really love to get a fjord. We know you like uh, I know, I talk about it all the time. <laughs> We're very mindful. One, I mean, financially, we need to make sure that we are keeping only an amount that we can comfortably pay for and still have money put away for savings, just for life for us, and spend enough time with. Yeah, that that we have time to ride and work. And the reality is, is the girls are going to be moving out in the coming years, and so we are very mindful of that. Even when we were buying the horses, we were mindful of their ages and where they're going to be when the kids move out. Who knows what happens yeah. down the road. Uh, Amy Rabe wants to know, are you going to sell any of your horses? Not so, anymore. <laughs> no, after Kyla, no, the plan is not to sell any of the horses. Okay. Tiffany Manross and Magnolia want to know, will you be bringing Duke and Stevie to lessons? Yes. So, are you bringing Stevie to lessons? Yeah, Stevie has started coming to lessons. Last she's been to lessons. two lessons now, and she's doing really good. Yeah. Carmi Reimer and Merida30 wants to know, what breed is Stevie? They've said a uh, halfling or cross, and then we've gotten two different answers. One is cross with a draft, and one is cross with a quarter horse, but the draft, halfling or the cross. The draft doesn't make sense. because be The quarter horse makes sense because she has thinner legs. It makes more sense for it to be a quarter horse and a halflinger just because of her conformation. Yeah. Emery Equestrian wants to know, when will we be bringing Jack into work. We've been riding Jack at home, but not been bringing him to lessons. We're waiting on the vet coming just to fully assess for arthritis and stuff before we do too much with him. The Horsey Channel wants to know, what horse is each of your favorites? Do you have a favorite? I don't know that we have that. My favorite is Duke. Grandpa's favorite is Duke. Yeah, my dad loves Duke. I don't know. I have a soft spot for Foxy. I'm not, honestly, <laughs> I have a I like Stevie, Stevie, Duke, 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 Duke Luna, Jack. Jack. I don't know. I can't pick a favorite. It's I because we handle each one of them every day. Yeah, so they all we, come in at night. Jack and they all Fox. get taken in. They all do the exact same thing. Yeah, way. we're with them. I think Jack and Foxy. Jack and Foxy for you, really? I, I mean, Duke and Luna, they're my babies. <laughs> But like, I don't know that I have it's, a favorite. It's like, they're like, they're Cause there's different things I love about everyone. each of them. They're like, they're, and they're, they're like a hair above everyone else. 
<laughs> and they're all so, they all have very distinct personalities and they're all so good in their own ways. So I don't know that I have a favorite, but I'm definitely gonna have a hard time when Foxy goes. Yeah, like, I'm I just, really gonna struggle with that. I just pretend it's not gonna happen. I think I'm gonna be the one who's struggling the most. I've loved Stevie, like, back when the girls were at their oh, old yeah. riding barn before yeah. we moved. I wanted I've to loved buy her. her from, like, the first lesson. Yeah, but, like, the first time I saw her, I just, like, I felt like she was our horse. I mean, we wanted to buy her when we first left the barn, but they wouldn't sell her. So. No. We, like, I've just, I've always loved Stevie. And then Luna is our baby, and Jack's so snuggly, and... Foxy's just like Duke's so one. goofy and sweet too, and Duke's yeah. a baby. I don't know. I don't have a favorite. I don't think. All right, so we are gonna wrap that up for today and stick around because we are going to answer the rest of your questions in a video coming up.